Gross, have dandruff. Welcome to Tent. We're doing our setup for our Temple Night Ghost Hunt on Saturday the 8th. And as you can see, we're setting up our equipment here. Um, it's an elderly assisted living HUD home where our client has asked us to come do a visit. There's a lot of activity. Due to the location, we're not allowed to give out the address. My name is Andy, as you know. Welcome Robert, our guest investigator from the band Syntax, who does our <laughs> music. Of course, we have Kira with us. So we're going to do a couple hours of investigation. Hopefully, it'll yield some good stuff for us. I've got a lot of equipment we're going to be testing out over the next couple hours. So, so can you tell us what you experience in your bedroom? I always feel like I'm being watched. I feel like it's a loving watch, like an old relative is watching me. But I don't feel like it's my room. It's not decorated to my taste. It's decorated to the previous tenant's taste. She loved butterflies, and they were all over here. And I felt when I moved in, there were a flood of butterflies that left the building or left the doorway. Um, yes, but it's a very loving feeling. I always feel like I'm being protected and watched. Okay. Um. What about other areas of your house? Like, we understand about the kitchen having some Yes, activity. as you walk in the door, occasionally you will smell oranges. You will get a very brief whiff of, like, orange peelings that were sitting in a trash can all day. And as soon as you recognize them, they'll go away. Now, as early as uh, Thanksgiving, the frying pan rattled quite heavily on the stove. Again today, while I was thinking about uh, the ghost hunters coming to visit and what they might find, I went to cook something and that frying pan rattled again quite hard, not quite as heavy as it did before, but it did rattle and it was quite noticeable. When I said, okay, I get it, you're here, it, was, it finally stopped. The day that I was talking about in question, as you can see, you really have to hit it hard. This is how hard it was rattling on Thanksgiving and about like this today. Okay. When I said, okay, I get it, I know you're here, it stopped on its own. Mm -hmm. Put the camera right there and it'll Oh, look, it recognized his face. Mm -hmm. Okay. It did that to you, too. Mm -hmm. I guess we could probably do one over here and or over there and aim it to the kitchen. Yeah, I'm, she did mention something um, happens. Well, she's had a couple of things happen to her in the kitchen, so you probably want to videotape the kitchen. So that doesn't even need to be a long wire at all. Because we post that one up right here, going directly in. So this camera will be pointed across to this entire bedroom. This is the master bedroom. The only bedroom. Not sure how much action happens in here, if you know what I mean. Mom. Just Gross. joking. <laughs> and this is um, in the living room, and that's going to cover the entire living room space. And then we'll have two more cameras this set up in here. One facing camera, that and direction, and then display. this camera yeah. over there will point it's, into well, the kitchen. That's the actual um, end that goes to the camera. So in there, we had activity, pens rattling, things like that. Um, just kind of the feeling. 
of other things being in there. That's about it, from what we understand. Let's go to the small one. Okay. Every camera, just watch every camera. Every like. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? A few minutes later, later, watch the bathroom in here, and it just pops out of nowhere. Yeah. One of the things that we noticed while going through on our investigations with these orb or orb-like phenomenon um, is we had the windows closed and there was no air on, so the vent had no ventilation going through. And it, it, and for more than half of this investigation, the doorway that separates the bedroom from the rest of the house because it is a very small place was closed was um cutting off any current you know that could have been uh going through any bedroom uh to multi rooms it was it was basically closing the whole thing off so it it really is kind of weird uh, you know um uh, I'm not one of those people, we're not one of those groups that just jumps on the orb bandwagon, but it is interesting when you look at the screen and you see that when you see the four cameras all together, you can see that it appears that it's coming from one room to the next, uh, and at some points you get multiple, um, multiple uh, phenomenon at one time. So yeah, this is one of those deals I'm going to leave open for interpretation. Uh, we certainly didn't pick up on in, in any any bugs. It's a very well uh, kept, clean area. Um, but again, I leave this open for interpretation. Um, you know, we like to collect all the facts, so um, we're going to push on forward through the rest of the investigation. At this point in the investigation. We're now going to begin using equipment such as the static box, EM pump, the K2, the spirit box, night vision goggles, EMF detection meter, the night vision cams, the camcorder, camera, and digital video recorders. So we're pretty much breaking out all the stops. And uh, we're looking forward to catching everything and anything that we can possibly get. We're going to be doing EVP sessions and see if we can't get responses directly from uh, Q&A and see if we can't get them to give us some EVPs and responses right down onto the uh, K2 meter or to the um, EMF or maybe perhaps the static meters um, and see what is generated that way. So, is there anything here that would like to uh, talk to me? Did you hear that? It was like thump. Mm -hmm. Couldn't really distinguish where it came from. I know, I was like, alright, alright. And turn the light on. Thank you. Is that easier for you? Touch that little device over by the computer. The blue light will go off. Hello? Do you have a name? What's that? How have you enjoyed living here with her? 
Has she been a gracious host for you? She been pretty easy to live with? She taking good care of you? Did you pass away in here in the bedroom? Oh, you feel kind of sick. Mm -hmm. You catching anything out of that bathroom? Keeps what? Being really bright. Could you line them up one more time? We've had a really good investigation. And Miss Kira here, did you have any good uh, moments there that you'd like to talk about real quick? Um, probably towards the end, um, I was sitting on the couch and I started feeling someone either touching the back of my neck or stroking my cheek. And the, arm, the hair on my arm started standing up. Cool. Miss Robert? Definitely had to be the knock whenever we asked if there was someone there and Kara recording catching a face signature go across the screen after the knock. Wow. Yeah, my dork self. And I think we got a lot of orbs. I think you're going to be really, really interested to see a lot of orbs. Um, well, what I think might be orbs, it, it just seems that they were like in direct response to some of our questions and when we were sitting down. So we'll see. We're going to get look, look forward to getting you the footage that you want, and we'll see you soon. Final thoughts on this investigation. I thought it was really interesting. Uh, there was a lot going on there. However, I was not able to recreate the frying pan. I was not able to get concrete proof of orbs. I did get a little bit of EVP action. Uh, however, I was not able to get a concrete name. Um, there were some words that came off of the spirit box. Again, nothing overly concrete. I think that this warrants further investigation. I definitely think that there's some activity going on here, uh, but what it is, I couldn't tell you at this time. And I certainly don't want to reach out there and put my name on anything unless I'm sure so but either way uh, it was a great investigation a great time I look forward to getting back there thank you all so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon